Hey everybody, welcome back to Stone Mountain Barbecue. Today, we're cooking up some beef heart in the pit boss, Austin XL. Now, I've never had beef heart, but a lot of guys that are on carnivore eat it, along with other organ meats. And so when I found this at our local store, I was like, I gotta try it. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna reverse sear a beef heart on the pit boss, Austin XL. So, what are we gonna do to this beef heart? Only thing that I did is trimmed off all the excess fat. When I first opened up the pack, there was a lot of excess like hard fat, almost like you would see on the deckle of a brisket. So I took most of that off, ended up actually just cutting the whole top portion off because it was really, it was like silver skin and just it didn't look like it was gonna cook very good. So we went ahead, cut all that off, cut all the hard fats off, and then we were just left with a nice piece of dark red meat. Um, seems pretty lean, uh, so we'll see what, good, what happens with that. But as far as the way I seasoned this up, I did it just the same way that I did those New York strips the other day. If you haven't seen that video, check it out up here. Um, we went ahead and um, sort of brined or rubbed the whole thing down with that Crystal's Louisiana hot sauce which I love. Um, it gave those New York strips a really good flavor. I think smoking it um, on this beef heart's gonna be pretty good too. And then after we rubbed that down with the hot sauce, we just went ahead and hit it with a ton of salt. Um, and that's pretty much it. Super simple, super easy. Made sure we did both sides inside of the heart. So the heart was actually already cut up, I guess you could say. It was already the inner um, tubes. I don't know what they're called were already taken out. It was already kind of like butterflied open. Um, so I didn't have to do any of that. The only thing I had to do to cut was all of that hard fat. So the pit boss is coming up to temperature. We're gonna go about 225 until this hits around 120 to 125. And then we're gonna crank the heat up on this, sear it um, right in the middle of it. And it's gonna be pretty good. We're running some hickory blend pellets today. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome, I hope. I've never had really, other than livers, like chicken livers, really never eaten any organ meats. If you have and you like them, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see, this is my OMAD for the day, one meal a day. So let's see what happens. All right, so the pit is up, it's running 235. I've got it set on 225. We're gonna go ahead and put one of these probes in here. Now that dripping is the hot sauce, it's not blood. But you can see this is a big old piece of meat. I would liken it to a small tri-tip as far as just the size, um, of course the shape, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead, so this is a thinner section. Sorry, this is a thinner section. This side here is your thicker side. So we're gonna go ahead and put our probe right in the middle of that. Now whoever butchered this before, um, there is a little bit of bad cut marks on there. It happens, whatever. Um, the thing about the pit boss is there is a hole to put your temperature probe, but just to make it easier while I'm filming this, and I've already got a nasty hand, we're just going to lay it under the lid, I think we'll be fine. I don't think it'll, it's heavy enough to pinch it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let this go. The meat is at, right at 51 degrees, so it's almost room temperature. We're going to let this smoke. I would assume it's going to be an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Once we do that, we'll pull it off, let it rest for a minute and we'll take that searing cover off the pit boss, crank this thing up to 400 degrees or more, and we'll sear it over the flame and see how that goes. I'm pretty excited. The smoke, oh, it's giving me memories. Stone Mountain Barbecue's back, baby. Let's put this on here. All right. So it looks like our probe's checking in at 116, temps down about 220. I think it's about time. We're gonna give it a couple more minutes um, and let that temp on the heart come up to around 120. And then we'll go ahead, pull it off and get this thing ready up to sear. I'm getting hungry. All right, there we are, 120 degrees. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. Let's see if we can get a probe out. If not, we'll just pick the whole thing up. Good. There we are. So now what we're going to do is 
So we're gonna go ahead and pretty much turn this bad boy. About 400 degrees. probe is showing well over 500 degrees. Let's get this thing on there. I'm going to let it go about a minute. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite things about the pit boss. what we have still looks pretty juicy we're gonna let it cool off and rest for just a minute and then we're gonna cut into it and y'all gonna see my reaction to the first time eating beef heart okay well evidently I didn't film anything that I just did cutting this whole thing up so let's take a look at it so here's what we got. This is a piece I'm going to test. I think we got a pretty good cook on it. There were two different grain structures going, so I did cut. You can see by the cuts here, I went this way, and then I went this way towards it. Let's take a bite. For some reason, I'm nervous. I don't know why. It's just a piece of beef. It is tender. I can taste the salt for sure. The smoke really helps it out. It is a dense meat, if that makes sense. Like the texture is a lot different than if you're eating, say, a steak or a ribeye. Honestly, it's really good. It's got a really good flavor. Definitely the way to do it. Is with the reverse sear. That flame and the charredness on the outside is really good. It's weird, but it almost has like a bologna texture. Like if you get thick, really thick cut bologna. Overall, I say it's a win. It's pretty good. I'm not disappointed. Like at all. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. If I saw it again, I would get it again. This is uh, surprisingly very good. I was expecting it to have that livery taste, like irony, just organ meat-like taste. It doesn't. Literally tastes like a piece of beef that you would buy every day in your grocery store. Like, this is going to be good. Throw a little butter on here. I can't believe how juicy it is. I'm talking with my mouth full. I apologize. But like, I wasn't expecting this. There you go, guys. Beef heart. If you're doing the carnivore diet, if you're doing keto diet, if you're doing anything, really, just buy one and try it out. It's not that bad. It's, it's not bad at all. Uh, about an hour on the smoke. Three minutes searing it up. Perfect. 
All I did was the hot sauce and or salt, no pepper. And it tastes great. Good smoky flavor, good cook, good sear on the outside. Couldn't be happier. 120 degrees, sear it for three minutes total, about a minute and a half on each side. And you'll be good to go. This is, this is surprising. I'm happy. All right, guys. I appreciate you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later on in the week. Um, Carnivore is still going pretty good. Trying to stay somewhat strict. It's still the longest I've ever done a diet, so I'm happy with that. But y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. God bless.